Good morning and welcome once again to another episode of A New Direction Podcast. On today's episode, we'll be talking about change. We say change is the only constant in life. But remember, as we always say on this forum, that we look at issues as it relates or as it pertains to the concept of the Spirit of God as against the ideas of men. When we relate to certain statements that we as men are familiar with, we always say that we have interpreted them as we have come to understand it as it relates to man. But when it comes to the spirit, his interpretation is different because of how it applies when he is the one applying certain statements. We talked about how death is an inevitable end for every man, and we described what that actually means as it relates to the spirit. That with men, we have interpreted it to mean that all men, that's all humans, must end at the hands of death. But we try to let our viewers, as let you guys know that as it concerns the spirit, that it's death that needs to end so man can live forever as it was intended by the spirit who brought him. So when we are looking at change, as we are going to do now, that statement that we always make that change is the only constant in life, we as men have described it to be that things would keep on changing. Mm-hmm. That's, and that change is that things will always keep being different. So the difference in the things we see is what has, to made, us, um, okay. has made us like interpret or try to explain that statement to be that change is constant. But knowing what change is as it relates to God, which is what we are going to be talking about now, you get to see, well, at the end of this particular episode, what that statement actually implies as it relates to the Spirit. But as usual, I have um, brethren with me today discussing this um, issue. We have um, Brother Savior. Good morning to you all. We have um, Sister Duak. Good morning, everyone. We have um, Brother Kufre. Good morning to you all. We have um, Brother Camillus. Good morning. And I myself am Brother David. So, let's get into what we have. I want us to start by asking the question that's to us here because our viewers can't um, respond to us now. Yeah. But basically, if you would like to join our live session so you can, you can be a part of our sessions, you can send us an email via the addresses on your screen indicating you want to be a part of our live sessions and we'll establish a video link to have you join us via any video streaming platform, be it Google Meet, Skype, or Zoom. And be rest assured that procedure doesn't require any monetary charge. All you need is your access to the internet and you can get to be with us. So, what is change? I would like to read it out from the dictionary um, definition. And change has been described as an event that occurs when something passes from one state of face to another. There's another definition, a relational difference between states, especially between states before and after some events. Another definition says it's the result of alteration or modification. But basically, what we have just read simply implies that change is a difference in state. Yeah. And then again, what he points out is that for that state to be different, something occurs. Yes. So change is not just isolated to the outcome of something, but yes. the event that transpires that gets to that outcome. So the events and the outcome goes together to form Change. change so now we are talking about change with men as, as as we have said for 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 change to be constant it means that time and time again things Keep become going. different yes. yes things get to be different states change situations change and the changes that i'm talking about now is the difference in those situations yes. or the difference in those states but we have said as it relates to the Spirit of God, which is basically the whole thing we talk about on this forum, but in different, different um, ways. forms, yes. that change is simply the 
difference in the state of man. That's the, the replacement of the state of man in humans to the state of God, which is life. That, mm. that, that's when you come, because I, I wanted to ask, when I keep hearing state, state, I wanted to be sure of which one, whether, you know, when we use the word state, we can, it can be the nature of man being changed or man being changed from the, his nature. Yeah. the way uh, it was programmed mm. or it was produced to another form yes uh -huh. but there's also when you say state like uh, river state where we are or like uh, uh cross river state okay state as state. state as a location mm. no so that's what i wanted to ask no, but state that state state as a form mm. Mm. yeah state as a form so 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 that our viewers will really get us well yeah because when you when you talked about is a replacement yeah. Is there in the dictionary that we put there? Yes. It's a replacement. State uh, change is a replacement. And when you follow that line of thought, a replacement of somebody works, a replacement of what? Mm. You know, everything we try to share here to our people to is to let them understand, just as we understand now. Yeah. Because we didn't understand before. We were all we are all coming from that source. Mm. Where we go to human school and they teach us. Yeah? They taught us how things, how words are applied. But if you look at in our world, we never apply those words. They just say it, and we just follow the imagination of what we say. Everything we talk today, we, the way we live, they don't connect it. They don't connect. Mm -hmm. So it's only when God now appears, you see that most of the words that we use, they now apply to life. So when we, when we say, Change is a constant thing. For me, back then, I, I used to believe that, you know, if you are living in a place and, you know, there's a kind of character that you have or the kind of things you see, you see around. So before you know, something need to make that thing change in, in the way you used to operate mm -hmm. or the way you used to operate. So mm -hmm. after some time, you change again. But I don't think that is what change is. So change is something that's supposed to occur and stay permanent. So that's why it's a constant thing. Like you ask, what now is change? And what are we supposed to change from? Because those things are very important. Mm. What is change? And what are we supposed to change from? Because you said that change is a replacement. Yes. What are we supposed to be replaced with? with? Yeah. Because you change from something to replace something. Yeah. I don't know why you follow that. Yes, it is. We change from something in order to replace back with something. Yeah. So if we are a man and our spirit is not that, it's not perfect. Yes. And what our creator requires from us is or that perfect? demand from us is that we should that be nature perfect. should be changed so, so that he can replace back what is original yes remember we say that every man is fake yeah so that's why sometimes when you talk about fake prophet fake people fake product we see those things like uh, fake prophet like some men i think we talked about that yes here. yes we that is not there uh, you can't talk about fake prophet and you are pointing a finger at one person mm -hmm. or some particular or some particular set of person people, yeah but we are talking about a man. word that man was generated with the wrong spirit yes so that 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 replacement of that right spirit is where we see change from but how did it occur it, it occur because it's a process so that's why when he talked about change in um uh, malachi 3 i would like us to read that okay from verse uh, 6. malachi chapter 3 from verse 6. for i am the lord I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Even from the days of your fathers, ye are gone away from mine ordinances and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. Okay, you stop there first. Because if we if we continue to read this part now, somebody will think that we are trying to 
Bring about tithing. Introduce tithing. Yes. You know, this tithing of a thing where all of us in the world have already been misconceived what how the application is supposed to be because we don't understand what tithe is. Yeah. This is where we derive it from. Yes. So, but it begins from saying, for I am the Lord and yeah, I change, change not. not. Yes. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob and are not, not consumed. And he now added something. He said, even from the days of your fathers, ye have gone away from my ordinances and have not kept them. Return unto me and I will return, return unto, unto you. you. Do you see? Yes. You can see you can see where the process that so brings change, change there. comes in, yes. You so, see, so that's why change is not you know, when we talked about God before now, we think that when God is bringing the change to you, if you are desiring a change from whatever situation that you are going through, and you need God to change your situation. What we believe change to be is that God will come to make you have more material. Basically, the change, the change that we as men expect is the change that makes whatever situation we are in better. Yes. Whether it's health-wise, money-wise, or whatever. But the change that we always desire for is the kind of thing that makes whatever situation oh, so yeah, we are better. Mm, so that's but, but, because we are we are we are in a kind of condition that we don't appreciate or we we see not to be good. But that, that's actually the essence of change. But that is change. Yes. But like uh, what I'm saying is that the change is not in the material things. Yeah. It's in, their state. It's in the state that we, we, we are been involved in. Yes. Because if you see that, okay, we are gone out of the ways of the ordinance. Let me use that word. Because we remember the last time we said that one of these moments we are going to be bringing out most of those principles. How God wants us to live, as we keep mentioning that one of these men, we are going to be pointing them out. Yes. And also, you know, analyze them for our people to understand that the reason why things are not working is because the way we are living, we are living according to that spirit of man. Yeah. You see? So, but here you can see that it talks about how all of us have gone away from his ordinances and have not kept them. So we need to return unto him so that he can return, return back to us. to us. Yeah. So you see? That replacement of that spirit of God from that spirit of man that we carry has a work yeah. that needs to be done. And that work must come from somebody. So change. Let me not go for change first. Clearly shown that it's not the material things that we need to change. Yeah. Because if you look at the situation today in the world that we keep, like in the political setting where we keep talking about change, change. I think one of these uh, political parties, that has been their motto set. Their slogan, yes. Their mm -hmm. slogan, yeah. change. And when you talk about this change, it's like the man that is in the government setting is going to make things work well. Yeah. Compared to how things used to work before. Mm -hmm. But we have said that there is no amount of people that, number of person that you put in the system that can change that system. If they are still... It's not changed. It's first. not been changed. Yes. Do you understand? Because yeah. if you put somebody that already been corrupt or is working with the corrupt system, that is a correct, a corrupt mind, spirit. Yes. In a system, there is nothing good you can find from that system. Yeah. Because everything the person is doing is going to be according to that spirit that he carries, which is corrupt. So the change there that you see is not the 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 system that can change at that moment, but rather the man himself being changed because the man is the system the thing is that sometimes when we when we are talking about things like this and we and we and we try to we try to bring up um we try to bring up instances yeah we need to make it a little bit clear because change as men we we, we think we think change is always positive Mm. And that's when I'm saying that I mean as men, yes, because we are describing change now to be the difference that's the replacement of of of, of states from the state of man that's to replace the state of man, which is in each and every one of us, with the state of no, God. God. Yes. That's what change actually implies. Yes. yes, and it's a positive thing. Yes, when it's Applicable. with God, yes. when it's okay. God that does. The 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 the, 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 the process of change. The, the, 
the um, the administration of that of that of that change. Yes. But when it comes to men, we always think that change is 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 for the better. Is that once change applies, is 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 always positive. But what we don't seem to understand is that anything that is different from a state you 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 met it in is actually a change. So anyone who is going into an who is going into an office and he's saying he's going to implement change, he actually changes something yes. because whatever he does, it may turn out to be different from his predecessor. Yes. So it's actually a change. Mm -hmm. It might not be favorable to you, mm -hmm. but it's a change. Yes. That's what happens with men. Yes. So it's things like that we see that has made us interpret that statement of change is the only constant, constant yeah. in life because yeah. we always see things. That people people keep on doing different things, so it it it, it seems like it follows after that statement that, that change is is is, is constant. constant. But following what Akufo said earlier, that once you apply change as it relates to the spirit, is a replacement of state from man to God, and once that happens, you can't revert it. Yes, you can't you can't say okay, you can go from man to God then go from God to man again. It doesn't work like that. So it's constant. And the constant, the constant in, that, in that instance is that once it gets to that place, it stays there. Yes. So change is the only constant, meaning that once that change as it relates to God has occurred, it remains like that and it's for life. Yes. When, when we use the word as it relates to God, for me, that is change. Yes. You, there's no change with man. But we need to... We need to make that that distinction because once you step out of here and you and, and you try to converse with somebody, he will he he will tell you what he understands no, change I, I, to be. I understand. Yes. What, where I'm talking from is that, you know, like when we talk about knowledge, he said, "My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge." knowledge yes. But in the world, we there's something that we call knowledge. You understand? Yes. Mm. For him, who define everything? If there's already knowledge, we will Ooh. be destroyed. Yes. Mm. Do you understand what? That's where I'm yeah, came from. Yeah, yeah. So you see that the things that we call, they don't count. The yes. They yes. Don't. When you talk about tree, we see mango tree. But yeah. the tree that God is talking about before He put in the writing, it's, it's not a mango tree. Even even Him, He says that His ways are not our, our way. ways. Our ways. So we can you can't just come and explain or interpret what he says with your woman uh, knowledge. knowledge. It, won't, it won't work. The purpose in which he says that was... won't be executed. So it's also only left for him to come and interpret to us, explain to us why he put those writings. That's why, that's why even after we have, we, have, we, have, we have described change now to be the replacement of states. Yes. Who does that? Whereas who has the ability to effect to that change? Yes. Because you can't just say is 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 the change of state or the the the, the replacement of states. And okay, we, okay, we come to understand. Okay, yes, that's what the um, change is. But as men, we can't effect that, that change. change. Yes. We can't we can't we can't remove the man spirit and put the God spirit. Though that's what we try to do with all the crazy things we do in the name of prayer and mm. worship to God, yes. all the kind of things we do in the name of God is in our attempt to, to change, change our ourselves. Mm. That's, that, that's, that, that, that's why we do all that. But there's someone who reserves or someone who has the ability to effect that change. So even after describing what change is, the, 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 the ability to effect it still resides in the hand of somebody and it's just one person. Yeah. That's why in a spiritual sense, we always look for supposed men who are coming from, from God. God. Just as what Akufi said, every time we are looking for men of God, men of God, because we always think that, that they have they have what we don't. See. Yeah, that they have that spirit of God yeah. in them, who has the ability to effect change mm -hmm. in us. So, but in this case now, we are saying that God is not an air spirit. We have said it countless times, but we'll keep on saying it because that's the emphasis of. The whole, the, that's what it is. the whole, the, the whole matter. That's that has the emphasis that God is a person. Yeah. So now, when we are talking about who has the ability to effect the change, you now get to see that it's it rests in the hands of somebody. Yeah. So and who is that person? We have said that that person is God. But how do we now get to have God 
to effect is, that yes, change. Yes. Because if it was possible for us to get that change from the sky, we wouldn't need men of God. Not, not, let's not even use the word men of God because, you know, we know that change, that change that we desire will come from God. We know it. But when we are using the word men of God, it's just like it's a pastor. The only people that are men of God is pastors. Because if you desire change, let's say from the government setting, there are, there are kind of people that we, we believe that, oh, this man now, or this man, if we elect, if them, we elect this they, man, they will it's change, going to bring a change, change that we yeah. are desiring for. Yes. Because we also believe that that spirit supports that person. Mm. You understand? Yes. Even though he's not a man of God well, that, that is preaching from the uh, pulpit, yes. we feel that there is something in that man that can make what we are that, looking that for to, that to happen that we are desiring from yes when you see somebody you know that this person is not corrupt when you have that kind of human feelings sense, or imagination as, about as somebody as you know that what makes this person not corrupt is like this person you know have a, a kind of seed of god yes you understand so but we don't thank the men of god yeah. But in our instinct, we, we know that them. there is something about this person. Those ones, we tag them God-fearing men. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> <laughs> God-fearing men. men. Yes. Uh, oh, you see, if you follow it from my illustration, you see that it's almost the same. Yeah. The difference is that the, the other ones stand at the pulpit and talk to people about God, God, God. But remember, this one that will go to the system too, he will always be talking about God. Especially when that thing looks like the system is agreeing with him small. Yeah. Now God, now put them there. Now God, but we are saying that desire that we have from men is because we feel that that sp divine spirit or present, whatever thing we call it, is in that person or support that person. Yes, mm -hmm. that is the same way that we have God in our midst. That same way that God will bring out, come out, but it's a person that that spirit support, yeah. approve to dwell in. That's what makes it a different. He support that person, he approve that person, and he dwell in that person. So that person now, you can't say, stand here, let me talk to the spirit, wherever you want to talk to the spirit. Because there's a marriage in that person. That, that, that is, that I'll call in that, that body. The body the so you can't separate the, the spirit from the, the body, body when you are talking to the body. And that is what we need to understand, that to have God with us, it means such a person need to be with us. It's not to have God in us. Yeah. To have God with the people, a body must be provided for that spirit to dwell in. That spirit is the word. We have said we have been saying this thing in different, different form, but today we are talking about change, change. which is now for us, not for the God. Yes. That's why I don't want to dwell in that one too much. It's now for us. Because he said, I am the Lord and I change, change not. Yes. It means as the Lord, wherever I'm appearing, I'm going to appear the way I have planned to appear. But at that moment, what do you need? It it's change. a change. Yes. Today we have been worshipping God, that our imaginary God. And we have been doing things and call it doctrine. Remember we talked about that? Thing? Yeah. And that doctrine, we believe that is the doctrine of Christ. So it's the way of Christ. The same thing we have been doing since we were born, our fathers were born, is the same thing we are still doing today, all in the name of God. But the outcome of the solution that we're supposed to have is not seen. Yes. So when he said, ye sons of Jacob are not, are not consumed, consumed, it means we may be doing a road of being consumed at the end without knowing. Mm -hmm. So but what do we need right now? It's change. change. Yes. From what to what? From what we have been doing, which is caused by that spirit that we have to the one that the person will now show us. So he who come to show that change, to affect that change in us, must be God in a person with us. Okay. This as you were as you were as you were talking, I just I just thought of thought of something. Because we are saying that we as men, the way we have applied that statement of that's that our that our opening name, statement of change. It's, constant. it's the only constant in life. Mm -hmm. yeah. We talked about how we how we have interpreted it and how it looks like it fits into our 
into our, our activities. Daily, yes, yes. Like it makes it look like truly that's how that's how it is. Don't forget that it's the spirit of the Lord that let us understand it like that mm. and let us apply it yeah, that way. That way, yes. And why I said that I just thought of something is is because if you look at it that way, there was a reason why he allowed it to go like that for man. Yes. And you now get to see, because, for instance, growing up, we are all taught about how um, milk was very good. That's milk. How they milk, dairy milk, whether it's dairy product or whatever, was very good. There were a lot of other things that we are, that we are, that we are talked up about being very good. Mm-hmm. But as time progresses, or as time progresses, rather, today, somebody will tell you that it's not so good to, to drink or to take milk, especially the um, dairy um, products. Product, yeah. And back in the day, it wasn't like that. Something, because yes, new, mm-hmm. new things keep unfolding. Yes. New um, researches keep coming out. And it now shows that what we had established years ago can't stand today because of new findings. Yes. That's how we have embraced the fact that every day, every time, things can change. So it looks like our 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 interpretation of that statement change. follows after the way we actually live. Yeah. But the funny thing is that we have accepted that things are bound to change as researches, as 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 innovations, as um as um, new, ideas. new ideas come up that things are bound to change. But when it now relates to God, because you talked about how we have been doing the same thing for, for centuries for in the decades. name of, of, yeah. of, 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 of worshipping God, yeah. and nothing works the way it's supposed to work. Yeah. We have accepted change or changes, differences in other, other works things. of life. life yes. But when it comes to the things of God or the, the idea we have about God, we are so hell-bent on sticking to that particular one that had already been established. You talk to somebody about God and he's, and he's telling you that how, how can you say this? Something that my forefathers have been, have been, been doing. I've been in this ministry for 81 years. So this is, this is, this is somebody who, who has said that change, change is constant. Yeah. Yes. And he has interpreted it to mean that things will keep on changing. changing. Different things will, will keep, keep on, on coming up. Yes. yes. But we can accept it in some areas. But in some other areas, we don't accept it. Because if you can embrace that thing, now when it comes to God, you should know that your idea about God is not absolute because God, you, no, no one has seen God. Yes. Even the scripture has, 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 stated, it, has stated it clearly, though in writing, that no man has seen God. It's in writing. No man has seen God. So how sure are you that what you have claimed to know about God is the way it is, is it and it's not subject to change. Yeah. So when you look at the ordinances, you say right from the days of our fathers, he have gone away from my ordinances. ordinances and have not kept them. And I ask, what ordinances? Is it this written letter? The ordinances that we have not kept, because the, those ordinances were supposed to be given to we humans yeah. to keep so that that change would be established. But he said, you have gone away right from the days of your fathers. So what happened to the fathers? Didn't he give the forefathers the ordinance to keep? Because they were supposed to be the example so that we will now inherit that ordinance and keep keeping them and see the change in us. But he said, right from the days of your forefathers, you have gone away from my ordinance. So that, that means no one has. Yes, ever and have the, not the, kept the, them. The, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is. You so see, you see, the, you see the, the, you see the strategy. It's a strategy. No, no man. Exactly. Has ever so he now kept made a, a present yes. statement. He said, "Return to mm-hmm. me," yes. meaning that for there to be change, he himself, That's who is the divine person that can effect divine change must be present with the people. He has to provide himself to now establish the ordinance. And the ordinance cannot be Bible because there are many people who does not know how to read. 
There are many religions with their beliefs in this same world. But we in the world, we are crying for a change. There is no change. With everything we've claimed to know as men, you've claimed to know a lot of things. Effect the change that will be permanent, that will be lasting. There is no change. That tells you that change is divine. That's that's why that and it cannot be. That's why that's why we said that words, when interpreted by the Spirit of God, say it fulfills its purpose both in speech and in application. Mm -hmm. Because when we keep talking about change, 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 we are crying for change, but different things are happening every day. Isn't that change? But it's because subconsciously it has been imputed in us to know that the but change that we are talking, change, 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 is only attributed to, to God. God. Yes. And there's a there's there's a kind of change that when the person of God effects, we get to see the difference between what God. he does and the differences in the things we have been doing. And let, let me come in again. He said, right from the days of your forefathers, ye have gone away from my ordinance. So that change, because I keep saying in this forum that as a man, there is a life we, are, we have we were born into. There is what we know blessing, prosperity, change to be. There is what we desire as men. So when we talk about change in the concept of men, there is how we want things to, to, be, to be okay, to change. So when that thing changes, it should suit us. It should suit what we imagine. No, what we were looking for. What we were looking for. But he said, ye yeah, have gone away from my ordinance, meaning that when he brings his ordinance, he is now bringing you back from where you were going. If the life you are living as man is, you believe that change is just like what my brother said, bro, Kufre, is more material things. Know that that way is not his way. You know, you know, with what, what you're just, what you're saying now, that means the way we have been living, we have been living under a false foundation. Exactly. That is where I wanted to come in. Sure. Well, it's, it's, word, yes. Father, father, it's, a, it's, a false, it's, it's a false foundation. Yes. It, all of us have been doing that, that mm -hmm. road. Yes. So it's time for us now to pull out from that, that, that road. Yes. And now focus on the road that he, he will he will introduce. Which will be which is going to be totally different exactly. from the way we are way, so yes. when you see a man showing you a lifestyle that is the opposite the way you have been living. Yes. You should know that change has come. Change has come. Exactly. Yeah. And he, he is no man. Because no man can bring that kind of lifestyle opposite the, the way man has been living. Exactly. It's only God that can bring that kind of lifestyle. So when we see that, let we should embrace it like truth, the change, change has come. Exactly. You know, you know, you know, there, there, there are some things that somebody watching us need to understand because I remember I saw in the news a video where a man from one of the country that carried some person to stay in the bush all in the name of God. God yeah. Okay, yeah. And what he's showing them is a way that is opposite to the way that some people are living. Yeah. You understand? So that somebody don't get us wrong. Because if you want to follow that way now, it's like it's different yeah, from, from what people were living. Yes. But this is not what we are talking about. I understand where you are you are you are talking from. Yeah. You know, Sergio was reading something and was trying to explain something when he talks about the way of your forefathers. Mm. Your Our forefathers are not be the papa who give birth to me. Yeah. It's, it's not the papa that give birth to you. It's our nature. As man. What the spirit, the Lord is talking about is that the spirit that I inputted in all of you, it, that is why each time you see the good thing that you're supposed to do, you see yourself doing another thing. Yeah. Because it's already a spirit that is false spirit. That's why we said it here. It's a forceful spirit. Yeah. yeah. So it's a spirit that can never allow you to to follow the path, the right path. Yes. But that is also because the right path has not been programmed yet. Yeah. You understand? So that somebody don't think that we are trying to point a finger at him why he's not following well. There is nobody that can follow God when God is not there. Yes. 
The thing is that we try to follow God according to our imagination, which he has been warned not to engrave any graven image in our heart concerning God. It means don't ever think or imagine or thought how God is when you have not seen God or experienced him one-on-one. Yes. -on -one. Yeah. You see, don't read about God in the letter, in the paper, and mm -hmm. think you can understand, understand him. Yeah. That's what he's saying. Just wait until the arrival of God. He will come and show you his way because it's something that you must experience it just as we are experiencing it today. You see, so those things were there. The spirit that we all have is what is called our father. Yes. Okay, and to, and to, and to add to what you and Bola Camillus have, have said about being, that's the way of, the way of God being opposite and you try to, and you try to, 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 to clear, to clear out something. And you gave gave the instance of um, of the of the man who took his took his people to the to the forest to practice a different thing from what everybody has been has been doing. When we talk about God's ways being different from man's, man's ways. ways, it doesn't necessarily mean that the thing changes. That's I mean that's like the activity will be different. But the application is what's going to be different. Like we talk about, for instance, now we talk about tithes. Let me let me relate it to tithes. Tithes with men is to bring something to God. That's with men. But in the case of men, what we are bringing to God is money. It has been it has been it has been blanketed to to be material money. Things. Yeah, things. Material things. Yeah. But with the the spirit of God, you are still bringing something to God, but what you are bringing is the heart for for you to experience, for you to listen and have work done in you yeah. to effect change. Yes, it's still the same concept of bringing something to God, but you can now see that when it's applied by God, it's different. And what's different is not the activity of bringing, but what's different is the concept of the bringing what is being brought yes now you can relate it to marriage as well with men marriage is the union between the male and the female mm. but now we are in um 20 21st century sometimes the way things are you might even call us the 25th century now the, the male can marry the male the female can marry the female sometimes it's not the marriage now is not even between humans anymore is between humans and some know. other things so whatever whatever AI. but but basically that's what we 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 we, we practice as marriage that, yeah. let but, us bring something in from that let me just let me just finish this thing so i don't forget it but with the spirit of god or with god rather is still the union between two but in this case now it's between god and mm -hmm. a person Amen. If you say men is 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 it is 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 general, but let's 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 keep it on a on a on a personal basis. It's between God and a person. A person. God is still a person. That's why I say men. No, I mean mm. a person. When I mean God and a person, I'm talking about God as a different as a, a different, different body entity. Body. Mm. Then a person as, as a different body, body but too. as man. So that is marriage that is tight and we can relate that to other things that we as men practice but as we have said that most times our activities mirror the principle of god but in application that's where we get it wrong so now the difference or the god's ways being different or opposite man's ways is not because that activity would necessarily change but the consciousness the application that is what changes, and that's what makes God's ways opposite. That is in cases that looks like what God comes to do is what we as men have already been doing before. Uh, mm. uh, let me, uh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to disagree with it, but when you say this, those activities changes. Oh, don't necessarily change. I, for me, for somebody to get that done, the activities need to change. Yes. You understand? They change in the They look similar, yes. yes. But... You know, like now, we have been involved in this human school. It's a school. Yes. Let's use the word. The, 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 the word used is applied, just like you talked about marriage. Yes. 
marriage is there as a word. Yes, but the but application the activities that we carry out yes, in not, marriage, it's, it's not, not the activities of marriage that God talks about. Yes, that's why I say, let me use the word activities. That activities thing. Mm. There's a word marriage, mm. but the activities, the way we exercise it, our which application, is application, of, application yeah. is different from what the spirit. That's why you call it the concept of the spirit and, and the, the idea, idea yes. of men. So the same way now apply to this thing that we talked about change. We talked about change as material things. Let me use that word, not material. Yes. Change is about things. Yes. But change is not about things. Change is about you. Yeah. An individual being changed from that state. But we, we are seeing change about things. You understand? As yes. men. But the spirit that generated all of us is seeing the change that you need as us being changed from that nature oh that we are to the original nature that they want us to have yes you see so that's where i want to bring in a bit but let's say something i would like us to to use this few seconds and, and put it out since we talked about the from the uh, i am the lord and i change not and his sons of jacob are not, are consumed. not consumed yes you know these words are there applying something and there's something that they apply is us. The spirit has no business with whatever thing you are doing out there, outside you, and the things you are doing. That's we as a people. Yeah. That's where the spirit has business with. So now he's talking about the sons of Jacob. Who are the sons of Jacob? It's all of us. Yes. Man as a whole. And what is the significance of this Jacob? It means supplanter supplanting or replacement mm. that's what it means so yes. when you are talking about replacement as the change you can see that change is of us yes you understand now when he talks about i am a god of isaac mm. jacob a god of abraham isaac and, and jacob, jacob. Mm. Uh, god is a god of He's not the Abraham, God of okay. The God of Isaac, isaac. and mm. jacob mm. and he's not the, the god, god of, of the, the dead. dead yes we talked about the last time that when you see this name that he mentioned, all of them, if you want to put them as humans, they're already on the grave, as in the grave. Yeah. All of all, all the three personalities that he's talking about today. Yeah. But what are the significance of this thing? It means I'm a God. When I'm around, I will, I'm going to father you, bring joy to you, and can also replace you if you misbehave. Yeah. You understand? Yes. Those things are they are not a God that they are not for dead people. They are for people that are alive and working with him. You see? So now, what I want to bring in is this. You, we are talking about how can this change be occur? Right now, we know who, who does the, pro, who bring the process that bring the change, which yeah. is the advent of God yes. in a generation. Yeah. How does change now occur? What part does man need to play in order for to, God yes. to now bring the change yeah, that yeah. man needs. Yes. You see, that is where you talked about the tithe from. We see our offering. When we work on the tithe and offering, we try to explain that. But I want us to brief this a bit for somebody, even if the person does not understand everything we have been saying, at least he will understand this one. Because this tithe of a thing is one of the 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 the, the mm -hmm. topic, the phrase Stronghold. that everybody has already been misconceived. In the world so i want us to briefly talk about that tight as it connect to what we read in this uh, first six yeah because he said i am the lord and i, I change not and these sons of jacob are not consumed and he started saying return unto me and i will return unto you you know when once that statement is made we see that the return that man will return is tight and offering that's what we use in the denomination. But now, if a man who is, is already outside the ordinances of God, and God is calling the man for a return, I want to ask somebody out there, what do you think the return would, would be? be yes. to? Because he, call, he said you have gone away from his ordinances, so you should return back to him. What are you returning to come and do? It means you are coming back to, to take that ordinances yes. which have gone yes. against me. Yes. It's going to show you that ordinances for you to follow. And Nan said, can a man rob God? He said, no, but he have robbed me with tithes 
and offering. offering. Mm -hmm. And we have described that the tithe is the heart of man. So when the appearance of God takes place in a generation, men are to return to him with that thing called tithe. And tithe is that heart which a man will come back to God and hear God speaks and analyze whatever thing that he knows that he can analyze with that and now hold the instruction that is put out for that change that we cry for. Yes. Because we are desiring a change. Yes. And we are saying a change is the state that we need. So it means is when you bring the heart and take the ordinances, the instruction that is going to give you, that that change can mm -hmm. now occur. Yes. Before now offering can take place, which is what you now desire from that first one, beginning from first one, that chapter three, first one, when it talks about how we can offer an offering in righteousness. in righteousness, yeah. Because we have been worked on before our first one now can be accepted for him to impute that spirit that is of God for change. For the to proper change thing, to really, to occur. yes. So these are process, but it's not as one will sit down and explain them. So somebody need to understand that he who does this working before the things that we desire, the change that we desire in our world, as a change of things can be seen. This process must undergo in each and every one of us, and every one of us. Each of us. Yes. So everyone out there need to understand that what I'm trying to explain here is that because there is no time for us to go into the detail, somebody should understand that this movement is to bring to light everyone out there, the personality that is around, which this change that we desire for, we can go to him and this change we desire for can now be made possible. That is why I'm trying to bring this in. But I'm saying because of time, let me stop there so that one of these moments too, when we are aligning all those uh, ordinances as Savior, point them. We we'll now an analyze them for somebody to understand that this thing we keep talking about here is a practical thing. It's not an explanation. But here we sit down sometimes to do an explanation for people to understand how this thing works. Because we, we are dwelling with the practical from where the person is working on us. Yes. So that's just what I want to brief in. Okay, so is there because I I I I think we have um, we have um, touched touched every 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 angle we can touch now. So I don't know if there's anything anybody wants to to add to what has been um, what has been said. Let me just bring in a little thing that just popped out in my head now. Well, you can see that even the whole program of God to man is basically about change. Because if we talked about resurrection, is a change that we need. The resurrection is coming alive from the dead state of man to the alive state of God, which is a change. You talk about you talk about the tithe, you talk about uh, basically, Passover. yes, Definitely. Passover is a change. So you see that what we need is our life to change from the state of man, which is what is bringing the cry. If, if um, our state was already okay, we would not need change. That's why it is the Lord that doesn't change. So we need that, that is um, his lifestyle that will stay and everything operates in a perfect way that doesn't need to constantly change as we claim to, to yeah. Change to be what we need as constant. And when it comes, we, we don't also know that the change as man is not always according to our imagination. You say change is constant. Somebody dies today. You, you don't expect that to happen. Why did you say it's constant? If you, were already, if you already know that that is what needs to be happening in order for you to see what you call change, there is nothing that should be a surprise to man. But you see that that's not the change that we actually need. We need the change of life that will stay. Nobody needs to die, mm. and that will be a Nobody good thing for sick. Yes, no. That's the that's the life of God. So that's actually what we need, and that's the change that matters to anybody. That should matter. So, so basically, what we have come to to that's what we have agreed upon is the fact that change is solely related to. God, God yes. That what we as men experience and we have thought to be changed is yes. just the differences or the, the the different things that occurs in our nature. In our in our in, in mm. our nature in mm. or in our lifestyle. Yes. That's what we have now attributed to be change. Mm. So when something 
is different from its previous state. We call it a change. change. When something happens in a, in a certain way today and it happens in a different way tomorrow, mm -hmm. it's a change. That's what we have described change to be. And to show you that it's, it's, it's a complete misapplication, it's a complete misunderstanding, mm -hmm. just as Sister Odak was saying, that if man dies today, the change that should be a difference is that the next thing that should happen is that men should stop dying. dying. Yes. But we don't accept that men should stop dying. Instead, we have it's remained it's constant it's in it's that understanding or in that in that notion that man must die. Mm -hmm. So just so just get to see that there's a lot of there's a lot of confusion in us as as men. Because if change it should be if change is constant and the constant we mean is that it always happens. It's 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 is a continuous something. Yeah, yeah. So if men are dying today, then it changes. We should it, hope yeah. that tomorrow men should stop dying. Mm, but we don't have that sort of hope. Mm -hmm. So it shows that change is not constant the way we think it, it is. is. But the constant nature of change is that when it comes. It with the person of way. God, it, it stays. stays. Yes. Because for you to have the state of God, which is the state of life, you must walk your way to qualify for it. Yeah. Yes. So once you have qualified to have that change, which is that life, it stays. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't revert back so, to its it former state. state. Yeah. So that's what makes change constant, wow. and it's only constant when it's God that. that effects it. So basically, I think that's um, that's um, as far as we can go as it comes to this, as it relates to this um, issue of um, change. So for those of you who want to reach us, you can kindly send us an email via the addresses on our screen for inquiries and for questions, and we'll be sure to get back to you. And as we said earlier, if you want to join our live sessions, you can send us an email indicating that I would establish a video link to have you join us via a video streaming platform, be it Zoom, Google Meet, or Skype. And this procedure doesn't require any monetary charge. All you need is your access to the internet and you can get to be with us. So we say bye for now till we come your way next time.